Welcome to the second section of our course. In this section, we will learn how to troubleshoot Docker networking and communications issue. So first we will pick proper network protocol for robust communication. Then we'll be creating Docker network topology for secure architectures. Video number three will be about using bridge network for opening inbound communication. Then we'll be making our network robust to ensure inter-container traffic. Finally, we'll be improving communication with links service discovery. So this is the first video and we'll be picking proper network protocol for robust communication. So first we will start from explanation of Docker bridge network and what it is. Then we'll continue by explanation of how to expose interfaces using Docker and why do we need that. So firstly, let's take a look at the port mapping in Docker. So let's assume that we have two running containers. Container one is running Apache HTTP server. Container two is running MySQL database. When our container is working within Docker image, it is exposing some ports. For example, Apache server is exposing port 80. But this port is not exposed publicly. So outside of the specific Docker container, you cannot access that. If you want to do it, you need to do port forwarding and port mapping. So taking the port that is internal to container and map it, forward it to the outside world. So for example, we can map port 80 to 8080. Then when our user wants to access HTTP server, it can go via 8080 port. It will be mapped to the 80 port within Docker container and everything will work. So there will be network communication between those. Also, we can do the similar thing for different container. So our container could have port 3306 and it could be mapped, for example, to 6603. Also, as you may notice, different containers can have same ports internally, but when you are exposing them, they need to have different ports. Also in Docker, there is a concept of bridge interface. So when you are creating network, you can connect multiple containers by binding them to each other. But when you create different container or different network, they won't be connected. So there will be no communication between them. If you want to have that communication, you need to create bridge net interface and we'll be doing that in a subsequent videos.